there are three conditions of existence. These three conditions comprise or make up life. They are be, do, and have. The first condition of existence is being. Being is defined as the assumption or choosing of a category of identity. It could be said to be the role in a game. An example of beingness could be one's own name. Another example would be one's profession. Another example would be one's physical characteristics. Each or all of these things could be called one's beingness. Beingness is assumed by oneself, or given to oneself, or is attained. For example, in the playing of a game, each player has his own beingness. The second condition of existence is doing. By doing, we mean action, function, accomplishment, the attainment of goals, the fulfilling of purpose, or any change of position in space. The third condition of existence is havingness. By havingness, we mean owning, possessing, being capable of commanding, positioning, taking charge of objects, energies, or spaces. The essential definition of having is to be able to touch or permeate or to direct the disposition of. The game of life demands that one assumes a beingness in order to accomplish a doingness in the direction of havingness. These three conditions are given in an order of importance where life is concerned. The ability to be is more important than the ability to do. The ability to do is more important than the ability to have. In most people, all three conditions are sufficiently confused that they are best understood in reverse order. When one has clarified the idea of havingness or possession, one can then proceed to clarify doingness or general activity. And when this is done, one understands beingness or identity. It is essential to a successful existence that each of these three conditions be clarified and understood. The ability to assume or to grant beingness is probably the highest of human virtues. It is even more important to be able to permit other people to have beingness than to be able oneself to assume it.